this morning. We are going to play a bit of Walking Dead. I know I'm due to stream it a bit later, but I thought I'd stream a little bit and now for you guys. Um, so you can be prepared for what my stream is going to be like for later. And uh, possibly for the rest of the week. So, um, yeah, I'm hoping that you're going to enjoy this. If you can leave a follow on this channel or if you're on my YouTube, subscribe, turn on bell notifications, it'll let you know when I'm streaming or when I'm uploaded a video and um, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Um, Just standard. So hopefully this is gonna be a good one because I. Right, I've never, I have sort of played the first Walking Dead season one to an extent. I didn't complete it. I am um, someone else completed it for me. But I started playing and got halfway through. Um, so I'm going to try and play this one and complete it myself. And hopefully it's going to be a good one. A good start. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. And what do you say? I say, yep, I know you didn't. the rear view mirror. I followed your case a little bit, you being a making boy and all. You've got an opinion then? Wouldn't say that. I go in for that innocent till proven guilty thing, even considering who they say you killed. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? Sure. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. <sighs> Any of that seem important to you? All of them. That box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. I'm driving this man once. He he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're all sitting. Officers are available for incoming to one. Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. 
and I'll tell him he's got to stop. But that's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. So did he do it? They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do say so. This other what? time... <laughs> No, we just got into a car crash. I wonder if he's gonna be alive. Did he have his gun out? Hey! Hey, officer! Are you alright? I'm still cuffed back here! I need to drag myself out that window. I need to... Drag myself out that window. Damn it. Shotgun. Ah, there you go. Bit the red. Right, it's alright, I'll get there. Officer? Oh, we need to grab the gun. Looks empty. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. Well, go to the officer. He might have some keys or something. God damn. They got keys. Shit.
Shit. What the hell is this? himself there. Uh. Only temporarily though. the building. Hello, anybody home? I need a little help. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Not an intruder, or one of them. These people might need more help than I do.
messages. Message 1, left at 5.43 p.m. Hey, Sandra, this is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message 2, left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby, if you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. What's that? Daddy? Hello? You need to be quiet. Who is this? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. You're not my daddy. No, I'm not. How old are you? Eight. And you're all alone? Yes. I don't know where anybody is. How old are you? I'm, uh, 37. Okay. Hello? Did they get you? I I'm sorry. I'm here. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Where are you? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Did you kill it? I don't know. I think so. Sometimes they come back. Have you killed one? No, but they get shot a lot. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look. I don't know what happened, but...
but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? We need to get out of this neighborhood. It's not safe. We're less likely to be seen if we move at night. My parents might come home. We won't go far. We'll try to find shelter and come back here with others. That sounds good. But we can hide in my treehouse until then. It'll be a tough climb with this leg, but that's a good idea. Let's go. Stay close to me. Ah, he's sweet. Helping poor Clementine out. Now let's stay quiet. We'll head out to the front yard and follow the road out of the neighborhood. Okay. It'll be okay. Stay near me, and we'll move as fast as we can. I found the bastard! Are we going to die? I don't know, I'm sorry. I... I... Stay down! Georgia State Patrol! Dude, he won't listen to that. Okay! Oh shit, you're not one of those things. Neither of us are. Oh, damn, you've got a little girl. We're sorry about that. Well, Andre's sorry about that. It's Officer Mitchell. My name's Sean. Sean Green. This is Andre. Officer Mitchell. Did you see any of those things? One of them just got our buddy Chet. I just saw a girl inside that house. Nah, it wasn't him. Oh shit, you hurt your leg pretty bad. Look, help us find the thing that got our buddy, and we'll take you and your daughter down to my dad's farm to safety. He should be able to fix your leg up too. I'm not a dad. I'm... Her babysitter. Her parents are out of town. Whoever you are, let's get a move on. We just were. Oh shit! It's Chet! <laughs> Let's go! Get to my car! Go! <laughs> And technically we are now collect Clementine's new babysitter because we promised her that we look after her until we, we, like, her parents come back or we find her parents, so. Say hi to your dad for me. Yeah. I'm sorry, Sean. Chet was a good dude. One of the best. Take care, you two. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I ran into Andre outside of Atlanta, and, uh, Chet. He got killed. No. You're kidding. Those things got him. Dad, I don't know what's going on. I'm sorry, Sean. 
You've brought a couple guests. We, uh, need a place to stay. You're welcome to stay here, but just for the night. I don't run a bed and breakfast. So it's just you and your daughter, then? Oh, not his daughter. He's the babysitter. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah. It's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. It hurts like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. How'd this happen? Car accident. That's so. Where are you headed before the car accident? Nowhere. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with, the girl? I was with a police officer. I'll he be was honest. giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. With what happened to your friend? Maybe that's not a bad idea. It smells like... Manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops? Just like that. I missed my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. Poor Clementine. Poor, poor Clementine. I love you, baby. <laughs> Hey, get up. Ugh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable treat lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! But he makes up for it with enthusiasm. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan, then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. 
You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Hey there, girl. So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. No, I used to. I was let go a little while back. Well, that's too bad. Well, I hear people always clamor back to college after a big disaster. People don't want to die ignorant, I guess. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people. Over some, just... just... Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow. But even then, I can't take away the things we... the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Anybody in their right mind would. Families and barbecues and beers with good friends. All of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? With those gone, what's the point? You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how is that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Right. We gotta go. And help with the fence. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. Dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh, uh... I bashed a poor girl's brains in. Whoa. I couldn't do that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? Um, not too close with the family. Oh. Well, they weren't in Atlanta, right? So that's good. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. It's how you doing, Duck? Good! I'm gonna drive the tractor! I'm the foreman! Lift with your back, Sean!
Do you, uh, think this thing will keep them out? Not yet. I'm planning on coming back through on a fortification pass, if you will. We'll lock this place up good. Hey, Lee. Still need a hand? That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. Alright. Let's get on. It seems like too. an all right dude. See if it gets a bit too canny. Can we speak to Kenny? Oh, we can't hey speak there, to Kenny. Uh, Kenny. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? Well, I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> At least you're honest. Shit. Better than I, like I to was be when honest. Duck showed up. You'll figure it out. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. See you. Hiya. How's you? I'm good, thanks. I don't know how I managed to go over there. Oh, there we Gonna go and speak to Herschel. Yeah. How'd you get out of that uh, On foot. I headed south and hoofed it out of there. That's a long walk. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? No wife. Uh, not anymore. I uh, think she's up in Virginia, maybe. Sorry to hear it. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Yeah. I was looking for help in her house. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did, but you better become a better liar and fast. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. So whoever you are and whatever you did, keep it to your damn self. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Go! I'll get my gun! I got you. I'll 
Get this tractor off of me! Please, help me! Please! Oh no! Try to help. I was worried about the boy. Look at him. But you weren't worried about that. Please, just go. Get out and never come no. back. We were only doing what we thought was right at the time. Got that ride to make it if you want it. See, at least the kids they can um adapt and like you can um see they by the time this is if this was all over, they'll be old enough to like yeah. Start again. Well, this is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. Town. Look! Hey there! You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Uh, not friendly. Fuck! Grabby! We're trapped! <laughs> 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 Take risks like this. And we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? We're not dangerous. Just regular folks. What's dangerous is a bunch of people running outside and drawing their attention to us. Lee's right. We're just regular folks, but we actually like helping people. You'll have to excuse her. The hell he or anyone will. This is about survival. Do you guys not see what's happening? What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you would. In a minute, Clem. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join him then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. She's not wrong. They took a risk. Yes, we did. And we appreciate it. Now let's settle down. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body, we'll dig one hole. No, 
I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It's... Lily, I'll handle it. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone, chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things! What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten! Lee, stop this! It's upsetting him! Oh, I'm upsetting him! <laughs> upsetting is getting eaten alive! What if this was your daughter? Never would have happened. She's not some snot-nosed toddler, okay? She's United States Air Force. Oh, fuck you and her. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Key's behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch! She won't. And if she does... The first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. Then we deal with it then. But right now, we're just freaking everybody out. Then get ready to deal with it, because that boy is it's bitten. not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! No! You don't touch that boy! You don't touch anybody! I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You want to get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! Jesus! Get away from her, you son of a bitch! Okay. Man. You okay? Just great, thanks. because of this bitch and the Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was... Uh, uh, Dad! Ah! 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 I did try to get him to calm down. Can it, asshole? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. And I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. 
Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Right, now we can uh, search the area. Central High newspaper? Tech State. Paper's a week old. Feels like years. Right, it's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. I think that's a battery. Anything on the shelf? I can't go down there. We've got to go back round. We want to speak to her, if you can, if it allows. us. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. Couldn't That's figure it out, huh? Nah. Nah, I can figure it out. Hiya. It's still not working. Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. Right. There you go. There are no batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I, I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. No. I'm still looking for batteries for that thing. Thanks. I appreciate it. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna um. step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. I'm gonna quickly look at her. Jesus. I'm okay, thank you. you. They just eat. As far as I can tell, that's all they care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Right. Can I go back inside? No, I have to, uh... I can't reach that brick. Hey, man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. Too bad we don't have a way to come out here and watch the news. Would be nice to know what's going on elsewhere. Atlanta's in rough shape, and that's all I know. Let's go back Let's inside for now. Inside. Okay. If 
finish that storyline in a minute. We're going to find the office because now I can Here, put I've been then. finding some stuff to eat. Oh, um, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't eat it? Oh, uh, yeah, she might, I suppose. Yeah, give it to her. I can take care of myself. Okay. Okay. I thought I picked up batteries, but obviously there weren't batteries. There were, um... Food. Right. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. Right. Going out door. Gonna be surprised what we find in here. I can't. I can't think about them in here. I don't know what he was technically thinking about. This door leads to the back alley. There's a first aid kit, so we pick up the first aid kit. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Check the photo out, that's on the floor. Ah, that's a photo of him. And his family. So this must be his family's place. Find anything? Just a picture of whoever was here. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? No. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Don't worry about it. My parents came in here hoping to survive, but it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. Right. The first aid kit. I think I've already looked in there. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Move that out of the way, so you can see what's behind here. That makes a good weapon, and it makes what's that for pulling the bucket that we need. This was my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Well, that we could was he sick? Need. Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. This cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like... Like you with your hat. 
My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. <clears throat> you don't need anything, right? No. I get hungry a lot. Okay, good to know. And you don't have any allergies or anything I should know about, right? Don't kids have allergies or asthma or just general maladies? My friend Alfred has a peanut allergy. But you cool? I think so. Okay, here we go. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I, uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? I wouldn't blame them. Why? Did you fight? I fight with my mom sometimes. We didn't fight. We just didn't talk for a while. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I got into some trouble, and, and I didn't talk to them for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay. Because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Now, uh, let's get this done. See, we're, we're being honest with Clementine. Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find this you a bandage. This is where the first guy kit comes in useful. I was meant to be, uh... It's the remote to my dad's TV. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Well, we're meant to be uh, sorting out Clementine. We need to track down the keys if we're going to help Larry. Right. Are we going to... Let's have a look at that finger. finger. Ow. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Does it hurt when I do this? A little... Not too much. You That's sure? Done. Yeah. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. There you go. She's all covered up now. Her cut's all covered up. Okay. Right. It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're going to help Larry. Right. Want to head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I... Uh... Why are you asking me that? 
That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? It's complicated. Sometimes things happen or you do things and you can't explain them. Let's uh, head back to the others. Go and head back to Lily. I'm still looking for batteries for that thing. Thanks. I appreciate it. We got batteries. How are we doing? Good. Wanna go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Okay. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? Now like I'd be drawn to all the TVs now. Notice. But not enough. Hmm. I can't reach that brick. Hey, man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. Those TVs are on, and I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. Hey, man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. Well, I want the brick, but I don't think I... I can't reach that brick. I've got the right equipment for the brick. Any idea where the pharmacy keys might be? We searched high and low inside before you guys got here. And they weren't on the old couple we took out of the office. Are you okay? I'm fine. If the keys aren't in the drugstore, think they could be out of here? We now live in a world where getting up and walking away is an actual possibility, so... Right. Right, let's, let's head back, back in. inside. Okay. Cool. Uh, yeah. I'm probably missing a few bits. I found this remote in the office, but I'm pretty sure the batteries won't fit. It needs the big stumpy ones. Yeah, these are no good. Right. We've got to look for the... Dumpy batteries. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest.
No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. Have you ever found enough of that tree? Alright. Time to go. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. Hmm, nothing. You should put the batteries in them on my round. Now. As the unknown you fixed it. continues to spread unchecked, the estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have been exposed. The station is okay. In the event of a full... Uh, my, my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. Right, we need that stick. It's yeah. locked. We need to track down the keys if we're going to help Larry. We're missing something. I can't think what we're missing. Uh huh. That's what I figured. My TV works. Lost guys. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again, and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UTA. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Right. 
The pills are in there. We know that. I just. Can't seem to find. Go and talk to her. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. Hopefully now we can uh, proceed. Maybe now we. Get down! Did you see that? Sure did. Be ready to shoot. Guys! Oh, man. I'm glad you're here. Jesus, Glenn! Uh, right then wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way! We gotta go, now! Listen, I was out here looking for gas. And then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A couple almost got me and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine, let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. Probably make it over to the RV or down to the truck if we're quick and quiet about it. What? What are you going to do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows.
too bad, okay. I don't know. You need to find a weapon. Yeah, I know where a weapon is, but I just can't. Just can't get to it yet. It's around for weapons. They really want to get into that room. There's a weapon now. the spark plug. Porcelain inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. There you go. Scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Oh, what about the axe? Very good. Bam. Hey ho. Right, at least I know what I'm doing this time out. So, um, yeah. Right. You have to do things quickly. 
<laughs> That's my mistake from earlier. I didn't do it quick enough. I'll wait for him to get closer. Wait for it. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice big sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? What? Two more. That should help. What? Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay. We'll be right behind you. Hopefully it don't. So hopefully we do okay. Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. Another word, she's probably t been bitten. Stop! Just stop! I'm coming out. You're hurt. Oh, God. I, I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away! I'm bit! But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? When? I don't want that. It's not Christian. Please. Just leave me. Please go. Come with us and we'll find you some help. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please. I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. Give it to her. What? You can't be serious. Do it. No. Then shoot her. Huh? I've seen what hell is like, and it's coming back as one of those things. Shoot her. Help her out here. You're insane. Just take this thing. Thank you so much. I know how terrible this must be. We can't watch this. Let's go. We can't go yet. What? Why not? Because somebody needs to pick up the gun. Can't leave it. You two go on. Okay. God bless you, all right? God bless you too. I'm sorry, fam. Huh?
Everyone all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine and... Well, yeah. We're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Now we got the axe. Can we axe the door? It's not much, but here. You what? sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's uh really sweet. Don't mention. I was meant to give her food. I was meant to open this door. Yeah, but somebody's not gonna be happy with me. Hey ho. <coughs> nope. And it not working. Yeah, it was worth a shot. Keys right. it is, I guess. Right. Come on then. Time to go and get keys. Maybe we can use the axe to get the black. I can't like, thank you. We are going out the door. How are we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Okay. Come back out here. Can't reach that brick. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. Well. Man, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Those TVs are on, and I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. Look at the one trapped over there. He's the one with the case. Better him than us, huh? That's his brother. Oh, shit. What? Do you know that guy? He could be a drugstore employee. So you're saying he might have the pharmacy keys? I'm saying he might have the pharmacy keys. I don't know. Could be anybody, you know? They start rotting and get all chewed up and... Shut up, dog. Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. Can't reach that brick. Man, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Those TVs are on, and I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. I can't reach that brick. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out oh. there for sure. I'm a bit lost, I'm a bit. We need that brick. How'd you end up here? 
I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff, and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months, and I spend a lot of time... On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. What about you? I grew up here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so you probably knew the owners then? Yeah, I did. Good people. You guys try to get in there and get weapons? Okay. I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Alright. Those TVs are on, and I'm sure they're making a lot of noise right. behind that glass. We'll probably have to get back inside. Let's head back no, inside. I haven't much okay. luck out here. For some known reason. So. Hey, Carly. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me. And I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kinda cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. I better get back to it. Yep. Right. Thanks, by the way. Don't mention it. Just, going to Just remember Glenn. what I said. Yeah. I will. See what Glenn has to say? Actually, quickly look at this. How you doing, Glenn? You know. Do you know the combination for the lock on the gate outside? Why? Oh, you know. I thought I'd go stretch my legs. You're probably better off breaking it if you have to. What's your next move? I don't know. I mean, you guys seem okay. What about your family? Yeah, I... I... Forget it, man. That's your business. I hate feeling like I can't do anything. I know the feeling, man. Right. Try to get some rest. <laughs> right, don't ask yeah, right. about the motor room, because we were there. Got me something in this office that we need. No. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. I if at last anybody wanna uh, give me some info. <coughs> yeah, it was worth a shot. Keys it is, I guess. Up. I'm not technically played this game, and for some reason I can't. Do you still want to go outside with me? Is 
Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. Can't we want to speak to Hey him. there. Okay. I better get back to it. Yep. Oh, Thanks, really... by the way. Don't mention it. Just remember what I said. Yeah. Uh, I will. <laughs> How we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Okay. I'm at the last people. He's not gonna let me break Hey man, her. what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. They are out there for sure. Ah. But... That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. Well, you wouldn't I need long, time. right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. I can't reach that brick. Doug, you want to get this door open? About that. You've got the combo, right? No. Did anyone ever have it? Look, man, there were a lot of those things trying to get in here. And now we can't get back out onto the street. Well, we're also party to some egregious fire code violations. Awesome. Now to distract those things. Carefully. I can't reach that brick. I can't reach that brick. I'm not open the data back. I never can open the data back. <clears throat> can there be one of that? Over there. Kill his own brother. Hey, bud. I don't know what happened to mom and dad, but I know if you were there, you would have died for them. So, yeah. I'm gonna assume that's what happened. Did you find them yet? Give me a second. Now, eat that. Mm. Now we got to like look for the key. There we go. Holy crap! Run! 
one! Man, that was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. Right, time to go and get the red zone. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. Use the key now. Right in the hole, they knew it was the right key. Oh no. Shit. We gotta hurry. Time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up round back! Do it fast. I gotta get my dad out of here. I don't plan on dilly-dallying. Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. I that door's not locked anymore. Shit. You three, get on it! I'll get back as fast as I can. Stay away from the windows. Dad, we need your help. Hey, Lee. If we don't make it through this, you should know that I think you're a great guy. Gee, thanks, Doug. Doug, if we don't make it through this, you should know... <laughs> I should know what? Huh? You said I should know... Shit! Are you sure? Oh, shit. What? oh shit! Okay then. Clementine, can you look for something to stick in between the hands? Something real strong, okay? Okay. Clementine, did you find anything? Nothing. A window is screwed. Go.
not letting somebody else get eaten today. Especially a good friend. It's nice that I think of you that I think of us in that way. Even though we've only not long met him. Which is cool. Meanwhile, inland, Atlanta's been downgraded temporarily to an eight. Right guys, I'm gonna leave it there for now. Gonna continue a bit more of it later. So I hope you enjoyed the first couple of um hours of um The Walking Dead. Um please would you follow, subscribe to my channel and also turn on bell notifications so that you know when I'm streaming or when I post the video. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you later. Bye for now. Peace.